Hey guys. So, have a special guest here today, Sierra Bear. <laughs> Do you want to start picking out your colors? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just going to do some fun acrylic pouring. So let me get this pulled up on my computer. Uh, also, for those who don't know, Sierra has her own YouTube channel. So I'm gonna grab that for you guys. And she's actually having a little art sale right now. It's a lot of orange. No, it's just red. Oh. Anyways, sure. So there's a link to her channel. Um, and as you tune in, please say hi in the chat box. Let us know where you're watching from. And for anyone watching this later on replay, this is a live video. The whole point is to chit chat with people, answer questions, etc. So if you're just expecting a straight up tutorial, you'll probably be disappointed. And what are you doing today? What technique? Uh, flip cup. Flip cup? Cool. I know. This is my daughter. Look how tall she is. Stand up straight. I'm a shorty. <laughs> Isn't she so pretty? Okay. I'm going to put on gloves. Just for fun. And then I think after this, we're going to do a little... Um, a little resin project also. Not a big one, a little one. <laughs> so, hey Linda, hey Mary, hey Jill. Here we got Arizona in the house, Connecticut, Colorado, Quebec. Welcome, welcome. I know, she got tall. Or I shrunk. This one's more red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she likes to go all kinds of crazy colors. I think I'm going to be a little bit more boring and stick to my blues. So Pacific blue, I'll use Caribbean teal, some Everglade green, uh, maybe some turquoise. Turquoise. You want turquoise? Is there black? Mm, actually, I think. Yeah, there is. I just brought a black, I think. Let me see. There's some black. Come real close <laughs> to the edge. Yeah, that's okay. Good luck on flipping that. <laughs> but yeah, it'll work out. I'm gonna use a bunch of gold as do well. You want purple. I do. How are you gonna fit in that cup, lady? Fit it. Purple. <laughs> it's already like overflowing. Okay, have a little bit of purple. Yeah. Here's a little bit of purple. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to hold them up. Okay. Okay. What if I I haven't put in the teal yet? I'm gonna add some more white. Okay, I'm gonna put some on here. Okay, and let's take a quick survey on mine. She's gonna do her thing. Yeah, she has grown up fast. Uh oh, am I frozen? No. Somehow I press pause over here. Okay, um, on mine though, would you guys like a, a tree ring, regular flip cup, or a grenade pour, or that was pretty impressive. I'm gonna yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> See, I know my stuffs. Um, or, or, what else can we do with a cup full of paint? Tree, grenade. What about a grenade tree? Just kidding. I have no idea how that, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. Would you like some extra paint? Uh, I think I'm okay. But I, I appreciate the efforts. Hey, Brenda, you're new here. Welcome. Well, this is my daughter. She's not typically on my videos, but I kind of like her. So, um, all right, looks like we have, I mean, a grenade pour is kind of a version of a flip cup. So it looks like we have the most, um, 
votes for that. Yeah. And Sierra just did her, just did a, a flip cup. Somewhere Everglade Green in here. There we go. Yeah, tree ring was an option. So I said tree ring, grenade, or just a regular old flip cup. And it seems like I've got most votes for grenade pour. So I'll sh a grenade pour is um, kind of a version of a flip cup. I'll Essentially, when you do a flip cup, thank you so much, Rhonda, um, you get this suction to your canvas. So in a grenade pour, ah, thank you, CK, hello. In a grenade pour, we put a big push pin in there and that, typically you do it before you even fill up the cup, but it doesn't really matter. Oh no, it is acrylic. So I'm putting this big push pin in and I'm putting it at the bottom, you'll see why. Paper towels. Yup. So now we're going to flip it just like a flip cup. And you'll see that it's not popping up at all because of that suction. Very nice. Ooh, you got some nice cells popping up in there. Yeah. Yeah. I gave you two there. Get purple in there. <laughs> you showed me. <laughs> all right. So now, though, we take out the push pin. And this cup is pretty cool, pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but it's pretty full. So I'm not totally sure on the workability of this, but yes, there we go. It should release that section and it kind of just shoots out <laughs> like a grenade, right? So hence the name. It's a technique that Massey Art Studio came up with. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's kind of a flip cup, but with a little twist on it. And uh, I also like to lip it. So I, I like lines. So now it's kind of got the appeal for me of a tree ring, but a little more wild. And now we tilt. Yeah, hers looks really cool. I'm gonna show you guys the close up in just a minute. There's a lot of really cool cells popping up in there. Okay. Yours looks like, uh, what's it called uh, on Christmas at the you know, sky? Oh, like in the Northern Lights? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Oh, I like these colors. That is pretty. It's like so like soft. Like great lines in this. Um, I didn't use a lot of metallics in here. I used a little bit of the gold, but otherwise just rigs, colors. Um, these are all pouring paints. They're pre-mixed pouring paints. These are all mixed media girl pouring paint, but otherwise I used, I use a uh, mixed media girl pouring medium. Hey, Barbara. Okay, so while I do the close up, can you grab the resin that's right outside the door? Oh, okay. It's heating in the sun. Okay, camera's gonna shake. There we go, okay. So here's mine. Got some nice beautiful lines in here. And I went with all blues, except for the Everglade green basically is in there too. Bless you. Oh yes, and take 10%, I forgot, off of all the pouring paint. Pouring paint courses and artwork with the code Halloween on my website, mixedmediagirl.com. Here's Sierra's, very colorful. Are you allergic to me? <laughs> um, she's got some really fun cells coming up and she used all the colors that I own pretty much. <laughs> Lots of colors. And these are both 12 by 12 inch canvases, by the way. All right, so we're going to do a quick resin project. Don't worry, guys, you're not too late. You sneeze when you paint too. <laughs> All right, so Sierra Bear, um, pick out 
without getting too much paint on them ideally, pick out some colors Ooh. from here and just try not to set them in the paint. And I'm gonna get these canvases out of the way. I'm gonna need uh, as many as you want, really, but I'd say try not to go more than like 10. Maybe like five or six is good. Okay. <laughs> They're just very slightly different blues. Yeah, I like Sierra's style. It's it's wild. Okay, yeah, I think I got like ten. <laughs> that wasn't a challenge. <laughs> Dang, you're fast. Do you want to touch up the corners on your painting, by the way? All right, give me just a second, you guys. Uh, okay. You got 700? No, just, just a few. <laughs> just a few. Yeah. Two more. <laughs> oh my goodness, the <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, I got paint on one. Okay, that's fine. Pretty good colors. I think I got a color twice, though. Okay. Yeah, there might be some duplicates of some. It's okay. I can use the color twice. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? All right, so we're going to do... Those are what are called alcohol inks. Y yeah. You've never used alcohol inks, right? No, I've never used them. But wait. Probably have. Actually, I think I did it like a few years ago. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just cut this paper really quick so we can have a clean space and then we're going to mix up the resin. Do you want to do um, a tray, dominoes, or coasters? Uh, a tray. Ooh, okay. All right, oh, hold on just one more second, guys. Wait. That's fine, don't worry about this. It can stay there. Okay. This is how I clean the set quickly. If I had parchment paper, I would just throw it over here, but I don't, so I'm switching it out. <laughs> okay. Is everybody still with me? guys so Sierra's gonna do a tray um what would you guys like me to do for mine you want me to do dominoes you want me to do coasters or we could both do trays I know behind the scenes magic you never saw that coming did you okay all right so I'm gonna get started I'm mixing the resin real quick Oh, is there gold? Of course, is there gold? Ah. Oh, I didn't get gold. I don't think. Um, the gold in that one is my favorite. <laughs> in that one. <laughs> Sometimes they get stuck together. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Mm. All right. So I put my, I stuck my resin out in the sun for a little bit to preheat it. And it looks like we're both going to be doing trays. That's that's what everyone's voted on. Yeah, they ended up getting in the shape because the sun moved. Yeah, and they weren't really in there for that long. That's okay. That's okay. 
Well, I don't work it on this. <laughs> I got some here and here. It happens. Okay. All right. In that, mm. uh, in one of the drawers over there, I think it's the bottom drawer actually, is the tray molds. So pick out if you want a small one or a bigger one, okay? of this resin so the price depends on that but if you go to mixedmediagirl.com you can see it on my website Veronica can grab the link there you go and this week I have a special if you order a gallon or a half gallon of resin you get a free uh, glow in the dark mica which is pretty exciting I think I think and there's a lot of people here in the chat box that have used um the resin so if you want to share your experiences feel free to do so and bonnie said i have dried flowers can they put be put in the tray and then resin yes i would put the resin in first though or you'll have some trouble with air bubbles likely okay well, let's see if we're doing three trays we probably want i'm just gonna mix up 20 ounces that seems safe we're not going to be filling these up all the way. We're not? Mm-mm. No. Because we'll do them in two layers. Especially with the alcohol inks. Um, you want to have it very protected or they can fade pretty quickly. <laughs> yep. All right. So... Get this mixed up. I put in part A and then part, or part B, sorry, and then part A. I just find that it's easier to mix it that way. And then you wanna make sure you scrape in the sides, scrape the bottom. And if you are pouring into silicone molds, it is best to preheat it. I didn't really have time, but that's okay. It's all good. Um, this resin has a work time of about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the temperature. It has uh, heat resistance up to um, about 500 degrees, so it's great for coffee mugs and stuff like coasters, you know. And then it has the maximum UV protection pretty much that you can have for resin. How long does that take? To mix it? Yeah. Mm, about three to four minutes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's there. So those are the two you're going to do? And I'm going to do this one? Yes. Okay. Um, try not to get it dirty. <laughs> but it's all good. And I just want to make sure. One of, the, one of the trays that I was using was kind of wonky. But that actually seems good. Okay. All right. Do you know, have you seen me do this technique? I don't think you have done it, but have you seen me do it? Uh, I don't think so. You just pour in the resin and then you put, or do you put that in first? Pour in the resin and then go crazy with the alcohol inks, basically. So you've got like a Q-tip? Like, um, you could, not, not a Q-tip, but a stick. Yeah, toothpick is what you're thinking, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, you absolutely can. So... You do want to make sure the resin is well mixed, otherwise you'll have some curing issues. It could remain sticky. You have some sticky spots. So I'd rather take my time and mix it just a little bit extra than rush it. If it is hot though, like say you're doing this and it's 100 degrees or you've preheated your resin pretty well, you can definitely skimp on the mixing time a little bit. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into each tray. Uh, I will adjust the camera, you guys. I realize that it's a little bit off. So give me just a second. I'm going to get this resin out into the molds. Hopefully I mixed enough. I don't think I did the math for three. And then I will adjust the camera.
Are you excited? Oh, um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something you've never done before. <laughs> we'll have people fighting over buying these. Why is there so much of one? Cat and one. What one? Cat and one, smaller one. I'm just filling them up. <laughs> uh, I didn't mix up quite enough resin for the three trays. I need to mix a little bit more. It's okay. So I'm trying to just fill in your two trays and then I'll mix up more for mine and let you get started. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll fill a little bit more in yours. This is a very awkward way to do it, but it's going to work. Um, so I'm using actually three brands of alcohol inks here. We've got uh, Ranger, Pixis, and Pinata. And they all do something a little bit different. So what I like to do, and Sierra, feel free to do this or feel free to do just completely your own thing. I like to put some of the colors in, then put a little bit of white in. Then some of the colors, then a little bit of white. Mm. The white pushes the other colors down and it just makes this really cool design. So I'm going to move these all over here so you can get started while I mix up the resin. Okay. And just have fun with it. Try not to overdo it on any one particular color. Yeah, you have more than one. <laughs> Do you have like a toothpick? Uh, I have a stick that I can break for you. Let me adjust the camera first so people can see what you is doing. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, so the different alcohol inks are definitely different. And uh, some of them are more transparent. Hello, El Cuero. <laughs> Welcome. Some of them are a little bit heavier than others, etc. And spoiler alert, I think I only have silver handles. Oh, oh. oh, look. You want a gold? Yeah. Let me see. We'll see what I have. Complement <laughs> colors. Yep. Yeah. So the alcohol inks will help to get rid of the air bubbles, but definitely preheating it will help with that as well. So we'll probably will end up with some air bubbles in there still, but I'm not. Not too worried about it. It is what it is. Put in all the colors. All the colors? Yeah. All of them. And this is Sierra's first time doing this. Oh, I didn't even push all the colors over here. Yeah. So bright. <laughs> yep. I got distracted. Okay, this is the same color as that one. Look how bright that one is. So do look at one. <laughs> All right, and I am open to color suggestions for my tray. If anybody has any color combinations they would like to see, we could do unicorn, we could do mermaid, we could do galaxy, we could do rainbow, we could do fire, sunset, you know. Uh, we could do ocean, blue colors, fall colors, okay. I like it, I like it. Okay, that purple is very dark. Mm. Is yeah, I think that was eggplant. One of my favorite colors. Red, white, and blue. It's not 4th of July, but that is a color combo. Fall colors, all right. Let's put that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this color. So that's a metallic. You want to make sure you shake it. Oh. So you get all the shimmer in there. Oh. oh I didn't shake it. Yeah. 
I recommend actually shaking all of them, but oh, I don't shake any of them. <laughs> Is there gold? I know, right? You funny. Alright, I have a feeling Sierra is going to be here a while, by the way, guys. Really? No, it's fine. It's not bad. It's giving me more time to <laughs> do this. I feel oh, like... I forgot about the other tray. Oh, my. Yeah, you have a whole other tray. Oh. <laughs> okay. One of us got to do it. Does the mold need deep pour resin? Uh, this is just an artist resin. It's not deep pour resin, so that should answer that question. That one's super bad. Let's spritz this with some alcohol. Did I get your project? Yeah. Sorry. I was trying not to, but it happens. Uh, brown, red, orange, and Xmas colors. Do you need those all together or separately? That sounds like two different color combinations. All right. So before I forget and get started on mine, I'm going to check real quick to see if I have gold handles, okay? Guys, if I do fall colors, I might not have gold handles. I asked my husband to bring me all my handles, and he did not. Mine's rainbow. I have silver and silver. If you really want gold, we can put in the handles later. Uh, so the spray that I just did, 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Open that one. Yeah, this looks like a one I haven't used yet. I love the Pixis inks, but the bottles are totally annoying. Yeah, 91% isopropyl alcohol. They are child and adult proof. Okay, there you go. And since I'm going with fall colors on mine, silver handles don't make sense either. Gold handles do. All right, I guess we're both gonna wait on our handles. Yeah, I'm doing rainbow, so I mean, either would make sense, I just prefer gold. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put gold on mine, but whatever. <laughs> I forgot that I was gonna put gold. All right, I'm gonna start with gold. Did you shake this? No, I don't <laughs> shake any of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, the live feed will be available to watch again. Now be careful with the gold, it can really take over, just to warn you. Okay. I'm gonna use gold. I'm gonna use copper. Bonnie says, Sierra, that is so beautiful. Or colorful. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty much the same color. Can you tell she's my child? I think I knocked a few over. Yep. I'm stealing some of your That's warm ones. Border. Okay, this is Ranger Terracotta. I knocked them over. And then, oops, sorry. I want this yellow. This is Pinata Sun Bright Yellow. Uh, the alcohol is to help get rid of air bubbles. Now we are also putting alcohol inks in there, which will help. But since this resin was pretty cold, has a lot of air bubbles in there. That might be empty. <laughs> but if so, there's another one, basically the same color right here. I just used that. Oh. I'll try to use this one now. Well, okay. Life is just rough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is empty. chili pepper. Nice red. And then I actually have a couple of browns that I'm going to use. Wait, did, are you moving them back? Moving them back? Yeah, oh. Or are you trying to keep track of which ones you're using? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> well, did you move back? well, you see. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I know I didn't use this. The yellow. Or this. The yellow, the red, and the orange, these ones. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all. <laughs> okay. These can use a hair dryer on the bubbles. Uh, not really. It's, um, it doesn't really get hot enough and it's too much air. I mean, I suppose it might be better than like nothing, but not really recommended. 
Okay, this color, by the way, is Havana Brown. It's pinata. And then this is Tangerine. And I'm going to use some Burrow Brown, which is a little more of a reddish brown, I think. I don't want to do too much brown. I might get some white. And go from there. A heat wand for the bubbles. You could use like a heat gun. I'm honestly not totally sure what a heat wand is. So either, I'd say either a heat gun or you can use the uh, alcohol spray. And the alcohol spray will affect your design a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys. So if I spray this, it breaks it up. See that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Any other colors you feel I should put in this? Uh, a bluey green. A bluey green? Yes. I don't like a turquoise. More on the blue side though. Maybe like a turquoise. A bluey green more on the blue side. Oh, that's a teal. No. Some purple, dark green. Yeah, green would look good. I tend to like to put like turquoise with brown. You need to open that. I don't know. They're both the same. With the, they have the same cap. Yeah. And one of those like kind of like vibins. You gotta push down to open. I did. I did. You did push yeah. down to open. I just did. Okay. <laughs> and I shook them for you. Dark red. Uh, I think I already put all the reds I have in here. So I think either either a green or a blue would look good. We can go with, I don't want to go with too Christmassy though. I feel like if we put green in there, we'll just have Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I have any other reds. Oh, you know what I didn't put in there? Cranberry. This is a little bit of a darker red. A little more earthy. Okay. Make sure we get all the edges here. Don't forget, you got a whole nother tray here. Speed it up, lady. I know. <laughs> a deep violet or a deep purple. What do you think, Sierra? Purple in here? Mm -hmm. All right. Can't say no to purple. I can do an eggplant. I think that would look good actually. Can you change the design with a stick? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that in just a second. So I'm gonna put eggplant. This is more of an earthy purple. I think that'll go well. And a little more white. Go like this. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put the lid on. Oh, I did. Well, you did, huh? How come there's two cats right here? With most of them. <laughs> what? All right. I like to add the white because it pushes those colors down and it brightens it up a bit. What do I do? It's up to you. If you like it, leave it. I'm going to swirl the whole thing. Watch. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hmm. And that's, and that's, that's where we do it. <laughs> and I'll probably give this one a little bit of time and then spray it with the 91% isopropyl alcohol. We don't want to spray it right now or we'll kind of interfere with that design. But what you can do also is you can um, let it sit for a while and then go back in with a stick and then it will really hold the de design. Because we just mixed this resin, those lines are going to disappear a little bit. I like it. You like it? I don't know. Well, why don't you start working on the next one? You can come back to that one. Okay. If you need to. Okay. Okay. This other one is going to be less rainy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't put the 
bottle in the ocean. <laughs> okay. And as, so I'm assuming you're done with these ones, right? Now at this point? No? No. Okay, so what you don't want... What if I want to come back and put more? Okay, I won't put them <laughs> Gosh. You have such a miserable life. <laughs> it needs more. True. Though. That's always a possibility. It could need more. Yeah. It could. Look at the beautiful purple that that blue and pink make. Good job. Totally on purpose. Okay, which one's this one? Which one is this one? That's the eggplant. Oh, okay. That's the purple I don't think you like. Really. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's another one. Sierra's just going to do two. Which, I don't know what she's doing. We'll find out. So far, it's kind of unicorny. What? <laughs> Care Bear? My little no. pony. No. No. <laughs> With all the weird references. <laughs> well, you like the eggplant, huh? Yeah. I like the eggplant. The eggplant's one of my favorite colors. And the, the great thing is, like, for anyone who does any work with alcohol inks, um, the eggplant specifically, it turns into, like, ten different colors as you're using it. Just this one color. Like a purple, a blue, a gray. It's just really pretty. Everybody's liking the, the hearts you got in your gold there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, while Sierra is doing her design, um, just a reminder, you can get 10% off of pouring paint courses and artwork on my website, mixedmediagirl.com with the code Halloween through Halloween. Also, there is an art auction going on Facebook right now with a bunch of totally cool pieces, some Halloween pieces, um, dominoes, trays, coasters, paintings, etc. So check that out. And lastly, if you order a gallon or a half gallon of resin from my website this week, you get a free glow in the dark mica with your order. So get stocked up so you can create some awesome projects. And yeah, I think silver would look good in that as is, but mm -hmm. if you add gold, it might change. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no, we're not doing any metallic except for the metallic purple in this one. But no silver handles, you still want to do gold? That's what I meant. Not sorry, I didn't mean oh, silver ink, I meant silver no. handles. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. That way people can see how I add the handles too. I don't really figure out where I put them. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, but Karen, did you have a discount on your resin a week ago? You probably did, so. And yes, a couple spaces left for the Florida event. So come join us. You will not regret it. Oh, well, okay. Then it's just simply time to stock up. Grab another gallon or half gallon. It lasts a long time. Luckily, it doesn't go bad anytime soon, so that's good. See, I needed to add this one back in. Totally. No, oh, it did. It did I know. It did. Such a criminal. Try to put it away. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They're just like following. Yep. By themselves. Out to get you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So now that my resin's been sitting for a little while, you can see it's kind of moving. I'm going to go back in here with my stick again. I don't want to go too crazy, but I especially want to get some of this edge space. So I'm going to kind of just go back in here. And you can do this a few times. Keep in mind the more that you do this, the more blended it will get. I think I'm done. Excellent. Where do you, where do you put the spaces there? Um, well, are you going to swirl it all? No. Okay. Well, then just don't worry about it. You don't have to do anything. Do you want to spray it with alcohol? Oh, no. No. 
Uh, Bonnie, you don't need to add a code for the free MICA. It'll just be added to your order. It'll just be included when we ship it. I'm just gonna, yeah, go for it. All right, and then I'm going to, whenever you're done, I'll get the handles put in, okay? Okay, okay. almost done. Yeah, the code, the Halloween code is for 10% off of the pouring paint courses and artwork. But the, the micas are just included automatically. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. All right. So now for the handles, I'm going to just set them in here. Uh, I typically put them about an inch from the edge. And then you want to just make sure that they are lined up with each other. And that's it. How do you make it even? I eyeball it. Oh. Yeah. That's because it has a rough edge. There's you wouldn't even be able to take like a measuring stick and make sure it was completely even. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know you can make it an inch apart and then an inch long. Like if it's an inch long, then it'd be But from where? This goes in right here, this goes out right here. <laughs> So you just, just eyeball like it. He took the ruler and you went like that across, and then you took out that spot, and then you went like that and measured it. Totally. Except it's different widths here and here. No, 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 no. If you put a ruler flat <laughs> across on top, then then you go from the ruler with other rulers. Go for it. Wait, you know? Go for it. No, because if you put a ruler in there. Does it look even to you? I can't tell. Does it look even to you though? This one's a little bit off. I, feel like this I always check it from both sides. I don't know. It looks good to me. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so I really appreciate you joining us. I hope you had fun. Sierra, did you have fun? Yeah. Yay. We made some awesome projects. So on these ones that we didn't put the handles in now, there's a couple things you can do. It still needs another layer of resin, so you can still put it into the next layer, or you can um, just simply screw the handles in from the bottom. That's the other option, which with these, because they are actually kind of full, I might do that. We'll see. All right, but I appreciate you all joining me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Fantastic holiday, uh, you know, Halloween weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Oh, I have a question. That needs to be on the live or after. Maybe we'll put like, like if if you paint over, like you paint on top, like, and you have that as a background. Yeah. Then if you were to paint that and wait for it to dry and get some resin and put like a paintbrush in some resin, could you paint with the resin a tiny layer of resin? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a great night. Bye.